Hi, this is Russell Sire from teachertrainingvideos.com. I'm going to show you really one of the technologies that's fast becoming my favorite technology on the internet for language learners. This really is something special and it offers eight different technologies. You can get your students speaking, you can do feedback on kind of gap fill activities, you can create tests for them and it's so simple to use. Now the bad news is you can only use this tool free for 30 days. The good news is that I've managed to negotiate a really good discount. And so for the five euros a month that I think I've got the price down to, you get a lot for your money. I'm going to show you now just some of the things you can do with this technology. I really hope you find this useful, particularly if you're a language teacher. And as always, if you do, please like my videos, please share them with other teachers, please comment on them. And of course, come and join me on my YouTube channel and on my website. Let's have a look at this technology. It's something really special. It really is one of the most impressive websites I've come across for language learners. It's got so much on it. Uh, what happens is you create an account, so you can create a free account and you can create a folder for each of your classes. I've only created one folder so far. And if I click on that folder, you'll already see that I've done all these activities with my students. Some of them I'm just testing out. Some of them I've actually been doing now with students as well. I've got all these activity types here at the top. This one allows students to for example, speak, and then you can give them feedback on their speaking, so brilliant for language learners. This one is a great one, you just paste in the text, click on the buttons that you wanna make into a gap fill, and it turns straight away into a gap fill. Today, the one that I'm gonna look at is this one, text to test, because what this does is basically allows you to take a reading text, to paste it in, and then to create different types of activities around the text. So let me just show you how easy this is to do. I'm gonna click here and we're gonna do a text to test and then I'm gonna log in as a student and show you exactly what it looks like for the student. Anyways, I'm gonna click on this button here, text to test. And all I need to do is really, I just paste in the text, click on a button and it will allow me to create different activity types based around the text. So I'm gonna just put in here, uh, text to test, test um, two, because I'm just practicing again, just give it any title you like. Now I need to put some text in here. That's all I need to do, and then click on process. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some text that I've already got. So I'm just gonna grab this text here, that's from my website, uh, just, just as a really quick example. I'm gonna jump back now and all I need to do is paste that text in. So I'm just gonna paste it in. And now I need to click on the button process. So I just click on that button and what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually generate some activities for me to do, okay? Now, first of all, one thing I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna choose here a voice and you'll see why, because the first thing it's gonna do is that it's gonna, and funny enough, there's an Australian Russell, so let's use Russell's voice from Australia. The first thing is the students will be able to listen to the text and then do the exercises underneath, okay? And I can even hide the text if I want, but I'm gonna leave the text on. Really does give you some great options. Obviously, this has been clearly developed by a language teacher. Now, what I can do this first activity is choose words and their definition. So I'm gonna use council, and I'm gonna use hire, and I'm gonna use, um, let's just have a look down here, have we got anything else? Let's use trainer university seems a good one so this is going to turn this create for me a gap fill activity i use a ward and i use capture that will do now in this second one it's going to basically allow me to or allow get the student to put the chunks of words back in order so it's really working on syntax so i'm going to use uh this one this one and this one okay now I'm, as feedback, I'm just gonna simply give a score. That'll do, that not be enough for me. In fact, no, let's do, we can do the full feedback. We click on save. That is now created. That activity, it looks like I need to click again to just make sure that, I just realized I do need to click on this button here. Once you've chosen the voice, you need to set voice. Sorry about that. Okay, so the voice is now set. Now I can save, sorry. Okay, so the game is now ready. And I just share, or not game, it's gonna be a quiz. I'm gonna share this link. Now, this is the link that's produced. 
and when the students click on this link, they will be able to listen to the text and read it and then do the activities. And I literally created that in seconds. So that's, now let's log in as a student and actually see this in action. I'm just gonna copy that link and now I'm gonna log in as a student. So I'm just gonna paste in that link. Imagine that I'm a student now, click on enter. I come onto the page and I get the text here and I get a button to listen to the audio. Let's check the quality of the audio here. Russell Stannard is a multi-award winning educational technologist and founder of www.teachertrainingvideos.com. He That's received awards from the- superb, and it's even got an Australian accent. Uh, what a great technology in terms of the voice quality and the fact that you get all those different voices. Now, if we click on next, we're gonna come through now to uh, these words and it says to me check these words so do we know the meaning of these words so we click on next and we have to choose the correct words so I'm going to click here and that one will be council uh, that one will be hire uh, guide uh, okay so that will be trainer okay that one educational institution is going to be uh, university prize that one's going to be award and uh, let's have a look at the here this one here is going to be um, capture okay right so I've got also a grammar here so this one here he received awards from uh, from the British Council for his work in oh no I've got that wrong now so let me just restart that again okay so you can see what I have to do here he received awards from the the British Council the Times higher and the University of Winster for his work in the use of education he is a recommended trainer and was previously a principal teaching fellow at the University of Westminster and University of Warwick, etc. Let me just finish the last exercise quickly. So I've just done the last one and now I'm gonna submit. Now I'm gonna put in my name, okay, and I'm gonna put in an email address, okay. So I'm just gonna put that in. Um, don't Please don't email me on this one. This is just simply one that I use for kind of anything that I want to test. I don't actually answer any emails on this account. So Russell handout at gmail.com and click on okay. And now I've submitted that. Get my score. Uh, obviously the information has been sent to the teacher and we can come back and have a quick look at what the teacher sees. Um, and then I got my score of 89% and I've got here my all the words and the ones I got wrong and the ones I got right and then the sentences um, obviously I got did something slightly wrong there the first time but then I did it again remember so it even tracks the previous exercise that you did what a fabulous website what I love is just how quickly you can make these exercises now let's just jump back again and have a look from the point of view of the teacher the great thing as a teacher is that it keeps a record of everything and if I come down to here then I can see the example okay and I can see that one student's handed in and I can actually view that stand that student and see exactly what score they got what they got wrong what they got right absolutely brilliant now I can even download that information now if you had say 20 students or 30 students then you would just click through the students here now a couple of things about this technology you can try it out for 30 days for free if we just come back to the folders and as I said you basically create one folder for every class um, you've got all these different activity types this is definitely the most impressive and I've already made a set of videos about working with the audio recorder which I'm going to add in the link below in the description really is superb tool and the one that I've already started using um, as uh, with my students um, but if you look at the pricing of this then we it isn't free after 30 days you're gonna have to pay if you're interested in this um, 
so you can do up to 250 assignments, which is fantastic. So you can have masses of assignment. For each assignment that you set, you can have up to 75 students doing that assignment. So we can use this with really big classes. And you've got 25 folders. Well, you probably need just one folder for each class. As you can see, there are lots of things that it's gonna do. Now I have managed, I'm so impressed with this website, and I've never done this before on teachertrainingvideos.com, but I've actually managed to negotiate a discount. And I'm just going to show you how that would work if you were interested in um, trying out this. Uh, well, certainly try it out for free for one month. But if you were interested in buying it, I'm going to give you a code that's going to save you 40% of the price. Usually the first thing you want to do is sign up and use it for free for a month. Test it out as much as you can. See what you think about it because there are loads of other things that I haven't shown you. You can download your recordings. You can keep a record of them, etc. So loads and loads of things. But just all you need to do is paste in TTV-Russell-2020. Click here. And it's going to generate for you a code and the price is going to go right down. So that's 40% off. You don't need to think about that until you've tested it out for a month. Give it a try. See what you think. And then I certainly think if you're a language teacher, this has got to be one of the best technologies I've come across. And the great thing is that you could use this in both a blended learning course and in a flipped learning course as well quickly going to show you a couple of the other tools as I've said this is a really great website and if we click on text gap fill just look how this works I'm just going to do a super quick example so I'm going to write gap fill uh, example and I'm going to do more or less the same as what I did last time I'm literally just going to paste in some text but look how quickly this can turn into a gap fill activity so I'm just going to quickly grab the text from here use it as an example just again to show you this it was just so simple to do I paste the text in and then all I need to do is click on input text and click on remove sorry I've inputted the text now I click on remove words and I just say which words I want to create for the gap fill so might for example educational technologist uh, British Council um, Let's just do here using technology to enhance feedback, so screen capture technology, uh, educate principal educational technology at the university. Let's just do those, nothing else, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is just do basic feedback. I click on save. I've literally just created that activity straight away. Now I just send that link to the students so they do the activity. Now let me quickly show you what the students will see. So I'm logged in as a student here, just gonna paste that in. And you'll see now that now there's two ways of working it. This one here is that you actually write the words. So you actually write educational technologist, okay, etc. Um, technologist, okay, or okay, British, and then again here, council. So you can do it as a gap field, or you can do it where you click and you can drop down and you've got to choose the word as well. You have both options. And once I finish that activity, so I've quickly finished the activity, I click on submit. Again, put in the information, just submit that. Okay, so now my students, or my teacher, sorry, will get the um, information as well, but I actually get the immediate feedback as well, telling me that I got a score of 100. Now, I could have chosen feedback with, with actual breaking down as well. You've got various choices. When you choose what type of feedback do you send to the students, remember, I just chose the option score, but I have other, other options. And if I was to jump back now to the teacher, back in logged in as the teacher, I can see gap for example, one person I can click and I can view and I can see that they got every single one correct. I can even download all the marks. If there was more students, I could just click through their names. Uh, I can always delete it when I finish with it. Great system. Uh, just need to click on folders and that create as many folders as you need for all your classes really is a fabulous tool for language learners. If you like that website, please come to teachertrainingvideos.com. Lots more free technologies. You can access any of the technologies along the top here or just access immediately the videos that are available on the opening page to see the popular ones and the latest ones. If you want to sign up to my newsletter, just click here, sign up to the newsletter. You get up to date with all of the new videos, the blog posts I write, 
the webinars that I run, often those are free, and also the online training course I'm running. And of course, you can also connect with me on my YouTube channel. I think we're up to something like 40,000 subscribers. And finally, if you do want any training, either with individuals or as a group, uh, doing lots of work around Zoom and Camtasia and Moodle and Edmodo, and Adobe Connect, uh, lots of different technologies that I'm focusing on at the moment, uh, online assessment, etc. Then please just contact to me and uh, I'll see if I can help you. And thank you very much.